So the question says, find the area between these shaded regions. But please note that on the left and on the right, you have X in terms of Y. It's not Y in terms of X, am I right? So in this case, if I ask you to find the area, the area can be written as the definite integral C to T of, for example, H of Y minus G of Y dy. So now we are changing the variable. We're writing everything in terms of y. The larger x value is on the right hand side. So this is basically what you have as the larger x value. h of y is 1 minus y to the fourth and then the smaller x value is on the left hand side that makes sense here you have your x on the left and here you have your x on the right so larger x value minus a smaller x value now let us begin everybody the area is equal to the definite integral of 1 minus y to the fourth minus now your g of y or the function or the curve on the left hand side this is not function it doesn't pass where the color line test so on the left hand side is written as y to the third minus y and then dy but what are the boundaries here what are we calculating so now from down here to up here you have negative one to one that's how your y is changing y on y axis remember that in previous exercises we had changes in x values so you look at the horizontal line but now for your y value you look at the y axis y ranges between negative one to one very good so now we can do the calculation the area is equal to the definite integral negative one to one one minus y to the fourth minus y cubed plus y dy In turns is equal to y minus y to the fifth divided by y minus y to the fourth divided by four plus y squared divided by two. Plug in negative one, plug in one and do the calculation. So the area is equal to 1 minus 1 fifth minus 1 fourth plus 1 over 2. Minus, now plug in negative 1, you get negative 1 plus 1 fifth minus 1 fourth plus a half. And see if we can get rid of some of the opposite terms if we have we have one minus one fifth minus one fourth plus a half plus one minus a fifth plus a fourth minus a half so as you can see we can get rid of the opposite terms you get two minus two fifth or eight over five So you can calculate the integral with respect to x or you can calculate the integral with respect to y. So assume these two were written in terms of x. 
then you needed to calculate this with respect to x. But sometimes the calculation is going to be a little bit more challenging. So what we do instead, we rewrite this in terms of another variable. Later on, you're going to see sometimes it's easier to convert these into parametric form, introduce a parameter, and do the calculation based on that parameter. So one by one, we built the concept and the technique to do the calculations.